Hello and welcome to the Academy Player Profile Series. My name is Alistair Bain. Today we're going to focus on the roles and responsibilities of our strikers. Our first area of focus is going to be that of the 1v1 ability of the striker. Here we'll see the ball movement forward, the ability to beat the first defender and then get the shot off a goal. Laterally we'll see here beating two lines of pressure and then using that defender to screen the goalkeeper and place the ball on the corner. The next area of focus will be that of off the ball movement. Here we'll see the striker peels off the defender to the blind side, receives it and then is able to strike across that defender to find a finish. Here again we'll see the link up play, he peels off to the back post area, again off the blind side of the defender and finds a great finish. One of the most critical parts of being a good striker is attacking crosses. Here we'll see the forward getting in front of that first defender and winning his header at the front post to score. Let's finish today's episode with a short interview from Chelsea's Alvaro Morata. When you're in the box, how many how many touches can you take in, a, in and around the box to score? You need to take uh, one or two touches is, is the most important thing. You you need to be faster than defend than the defender or or quick as possible because yeah. Yeah, it's everything about time inside the area. Because when I look when I look at some of the finishes that you do, you often arrive at the right time. So you have you're not you're not already set. So so you don't get marked easily, so you you time that run and then you arrive to finish. Yeah, it's the, the most important thing for, for the humans. Uh, Ronaldo, Messi, or this, these players are not humans and you can dribble in uh, four or five players, but the, the other one we need to to be intelligent and arrive at, at the just moment to, to have the, the chance or, or the opportunity. And, and when you're working and when you're when you're finishing, do you ever look at the goalkeeper to see where he's yeah, standing? But, yeah, but I don't I don't show to the goalkeeper that I'm looking okay. to the goalkeeper. And it's difficult, but you need to to feel. It's not it's not look, but you need to feel and with your body position. Yeah. So for example, if if, if you your eyes, so you shape up and then you okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes! <laughs>